All right. So the next question is, looks like Brad or Brady, one of the two. Uh, hey guys, is it a good idea to buy aged YouTube accounts and re-upload all of our videos from our branded syndication ring for extra backlinking or will this cost duplicated content penalties? No, it won't. There's no such thing as duplicate content, especially on YouTube. Uh, the only time that you can get duplicate content on YouTube is if you're trying to upload the exact same video to the same channel. If you take one video that's on one channel and you s upload that same video to a thousand other YouTube channels, it'll YouTube will take it. Um, it's only if you try to upload the exact same YouTube file or excuse me, video file to the same YouTube channel and YouTube, it'll start to upload and then it will stop it and it'll say it's a, it's duplicate content and it won't allow it to upload. But if you change the encoding or you change the metadata or you change the title or you change the file name or anything else, uh, typically it will take. So it's just, I, I don't know if file name will do it anymore. You used to be able to do that, but that might, it might still catch it if it's the same encoding and everything. But if you change something, about, they call it video spinning, right? Which is just modifying the encoding, um, metadata, things like that to allow the same video to be uploaded to the same channel, which I don't know why you'd want to do that for spam purposes, maybe. Uh, but, you know, it's, in my opinion, um, <clears throat> there's no need to have the same video on the same channel more than once. But you can take the same video and upload it to many, many channels and it won't cause duplicate content issues. There's really no such thing as that on YouTube except for on the same channel. So uh, is it a good idea to do that? I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't do a lot of YouTube like SEO stuff anymore. I know it's still, you know, I still create YouTube channels for, you know, all projects. There's always a branded channel. It's just part of the SEO channel. Uh, shield anyways was well, part of the syndication network and then ultimately part of the seo shield and um i still always like i'm using david sprague's rep videos it's great it, it works great because it creates nice looking videos it's inexpensive and so for all my clients or my lead gen assets we you know use the david sprague's rep videos to create content for the youtube channel and then embed nap name address phone number keywords links to all the tier one entity assets and all of that in the youtube description and then you can even upload though, you can download those files and then even upload them to GMB. So it's, and again, optimize the file, use something like Mass Optimizer Pro or something like that to optimize the video file to embed. Uh, you can't put latitude and longitude in the video file, but you can add in the comment section like NAP, um, publisher URL, co uh, copyright URLs, things like that. So you can link out to tier one entity assets in the metadata of the video file and then upload it to GMB. It's, a, it's another great little hack to get and by the way, videos in GMBs uh, attract a lot of views. You notice that if you upload a video, they tend to get quite a bit of views. And photos are also crushing it in GMBs right now, too. So anybody this, misses, this misses the point. All right. So, so you buy a million aged YouTube accounts and you upload the, the video file a million times across all of these YouTube channels. And if nobody watches the video, you just wasted a million true. YouTube accounts. No nope. watch time, activity. Guys, I've been saying it for years. Activity, relevance, trust and authority. Trust and authority going hand in hand because you can't have one without the other. If you don't have some kind of art in whatever it is that you're doing, if you haven't thought it out where you are going to get people somehow to watch whatever it is that you're doing, then you just wasted a whole lot of time and got nothing back for it except, hey, wow, I own a million YouTube channels. Yeah, so fucking what? Have you made any money from it? The whole point in all of this is to get people in there. How are you going to get people in there? What's the point of, of, that, of that same video a million times? Hey, why don't you take that video and syndicate it across your property because you should be building a social network where you're being social in your social media properties and you're blogging and you're sharing your content and you're building that audience, you're building that audience up so that somebody's watching the video, somebody reacts to your video or acts on your video, goes to the channel, watches more videos. Hey, how about buying some ads at, at pennies per yes. watch? How about that? Getting people in there into that video file, getting people into your T1 branded, wherever that video file is. Hey, how about getting an embed gig from MGYB with backlinking so that when you do that power push, you push a person through those ads in there and make everything just mushroom. How about, how about thinking this through, which is the GMB way so that 
you get the most bang for the buck. So that instead of wasting all that time with a million YouTube, YouTube channels, you're powering up your, your branded right. channel, your T1 properties, everything that's attached to T1, your GMB, your drive stack, your G site, and you're actually getting people in there who might convert and actually make you money. That question that you ask isn't contemplating how you're going to get people to watch and take action on your channel. That's what Google is looking at. Activity, relevance, trust, and authority. Been saying it for years and we'll continue saying it until the algorithms change. It's what the algorithm is all about. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up because, uh, you know, I posted again yesterday in the mastermind for the third week now in a row. Uh, I've posted an update about using Google ads for buying activity, you know, buying art, essentially, right? Activity, relevance, trust, and authority. And using Google ads with a $2 a day budget and getting incredible maps ranking results uh, from that alone, from just buying traffic from a relevant audience in a very specific geo-targeted area. And it just moves the needle. I mean, it moves the needle in a matter of a week. It's incredible. And it's very inexpensive and it's incredibly effective. And um, so I'm going to be covering that a little bit more tomorrow in the Mastermind webinar uh, because I, I, was, I was doing it a very specific way, but I just started setting up some additional testing using Google Ads traffic. So I totally agree. It's, 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 and here's just a quick hack that, you know, in talking about what Marco was just talking about with also embeds and link building. If you were to take uh, the Google Ads traffic and send it to a video that you want to rank for SEO purposes, which by the way, you can use that also to help to rank whatever it's linking to, GMB assets, money sites, whatever in the video itself, right? So because it's, it's essentially the YouTube video becomes a tier one entity asset. So if you run traffic to it using Google ads and you start to get some traction with it because of the activity, then you go and while that traffic is you know, running to it, um, you do an embed gig and backlink gig, that looks natural. It's a very kind of natural occurrence. Start the traffic first. That's the way I do it anyways. And then run embeds and backlinks as the traffic is, is building to it because it looks more natural, in my opinion, than just running embeds and backlinks and then, you know, sprinkling a little bit of traffic in, if, if that makes sense. It seems more natural to have traffic start and then uh, like embeds and backlinks start to catch up because it mimics more of a viral nature, like more of a viral viral activity. Um, so anyways, that just tends to work really, really well. And I've not been doing a lot of stuff with YouTube, but I have been doing a lot of stuff with maps uh, and Google ads traffic. And it just, it works incredibly well. It's hard to beat, to be honest, so.